Lower thirds are an integral part of any broadcast or corporate or a business type of a production or maybe you're doing wedding video or school video. Lower thirds can take a lot of time to insert and get just right. Well, in Production Assistant, we've got a lower thirds tool in there with a bunch of lower thirds already prepared for you and you can create some and put them in there on your own or you can create graphics or bring in any type of an external lower third package like from Digital Juice or Pancakes or some of the other tools that are out there. So let's look at how to insert a lower third inside of Production Assistant. We brought up the golf project that we worked with earlier here and I need to insert a lower third Both and, so you wanted to and I think I want to bring this in during the interview. Ever since I was four years old. So let's park our cursor right here just before he begins speaking. And let's go up to our lower third tool here. And again, we can put this up on the toolbar, but we're going to work with it from the toolbar within Production Assistant. Click on lower thirds. And this allows us to look at the lower third before we put it in. So what's happening is in this drop down box, we can choose the lower third that we want to use. Now these are animated lower thirds, They're, they all have motion to them. So I think that for the time being, let's choose uh, the Blue Line Express and choose OK. Now before we select OK, let's tell it where we want it to, how we want it to appear. We can add it to the selected track. We can add it to a new track above the selected track or add it to a new track below the selected track or replace the existing event as a take. So in this particular case, I can see that I'm on track three, which is the lower thirds color bars uh, track. So I'm going to add it to the selected track rather than a new track that's going up above. Okay. And I'm going to match the pixel aspect ratio. In other words, this is a 16 by 9 or a widescreen production. So I want to be sure that my lower third, regardless of what its origin is, does match the pixel aspect ratio. Let's choose OK. And there's our lower third right there. You wanted to... Ever since I was four years old, I just I wanted to be in the military. And as I grew up, my dad was a Marine. And I wanted to be a Marine like my dad. And so that fast and that easy to use these lower thirds tools. It's very, very simple. We can uh, drop in any number of, of lower thirds. Now, one of the things that you'll notice in here is we have a button that says pre-render graph packs. Some of the lower thirds that we've created for you are very large and they might take a little bit of time to, to preview or they might be slow in previewing. You may want to pre-render them. What this is going to do is create a 32-bit uncompressed AVI file that will then drop on the timeline. This will speed your rendering process. The problem is once you have rendered them or pre-rendered them out so that they're fixed, you can no longer change the, the color or change any of the aspects of these pre-built files. So that's one thing that you're, you're locked into is you won't be able to go through and change them. So speaking of that, how do you go in and change a veg file? In other words, how do you go in and change a, a lower third if you're not quite pleased with the way it looks or maybe it doesn't match your particular project? Let's look at how to edit those right now. I'm going to cancel out of here and here's our, our uh, lower third. All we need to do is right click and choose edit in Vegas. So we've right clicked it, it opens up a new copy of Vegas. It's going to take it just a moment to open. And here's that lower third right there, complete with animation. So maybe we want to change that background color. So instead of it being that, that light blue color, let's just move this up here where we can see it a little bit better. Instead of being light blue, maybe we want it to be green or a darker color or a deeper blue or red. So in this case, since we're dealing with golf, maybe we'll change that to a darker color, just like that. And we can do save. There we go. And all we need to do now is close down the other copy of Vegas. Let's have a look at our file. To be a soldier that you wanted to... Ever since I was four years old, I just I wanted to be in the military. And as I grew up, my dad was a Marine. And I wanted to be a Marine like my dad. In this particular case, I think I want my lower third to end before that cut. All we need to do is hold down the control key and slide it off to the side. That's going to slightly speed up that uh, lower third so that it ends at the same point as that cut. Ever since I was four years old, I just I wanted to be in the military. And as I grew up, my dad was a Marine. And I wanted to be a Marine like my dad. 
all that's left to do is lay your text over top of that lower third. So this lower third tool can be very, very powerful. You can also go to the vast.com website and purchase more lower thirds that are related to sports or holidays and so forth. But we've given you quite a few that come inside of the production assistant application on its own. So check out some of those lower thirds and see what you can build very, very quickly.